Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how uh, you can create a couch that you've seen in the introduction and you can use it on any uh, injury scene as you want. So I'm going to show you the ways that you can achieve some kind of this kind of uh, couch or sofa that you can use in your living room or any other scenes. So you can find the project file in the description. This is just the basic, um, the basic dimensions of the sofa that I have modeled myself. So this is just a block model of the sofa. You can download it and you can follow me along or you can just model it yourself it's it's easy it's it does nothing complicated as you can see but in order to make the to, to the tutorial uh effective and fast i have just included this in the in the link in the description so that you can follow me along and also the purpose of this tutorial is to show you close simulations uh mostly so that's why i've done that so what we need to do is just select this one this object first and then if I just go to the edit mode, as you can see, it, it will only have one, it will only have six faces. We don't have any, any subdivisions or anything. So before that, what we need to do is just go to select, select sharp edge, then right click, mark seam, then A to select everything and press U and then unwrap. So what we have done is we have UV unwrapped this image so that it will be easier to apply uh, image texture material on this image. So again, since this one, this two are the, uh, identical, you can copy this one, or you can just go to the edit mode, right click mark scene. They can separately A, U, unwrap. Go to the edit mode, A, then U, unwrap. Now we have unwrapped for this one. Again, do the same process for this one. Just go to select, but make sure that you're on each selection mode. Select, and then select sharp edges, right click, and then mark scene, and pr press H, select everything, press U. And then unwrapped and then again for the bottom part go to the edit mode uh, go to select sharp edges right click mark C, a to select everything press u and then unwrap but after we do that we have we have unwrapped our our uv mods for every uh, mesh right here if i go to the uv editor to see as you can see this one is not properly unwrapped. If I just go to face selection mode and select this face, as you can see, this one and this one has to be the same. As you can see, this one is a little bit uh, uh, short and long. This one is... Uh, uh, this two does not have any similarity. That's the point. So the reason for that is we do not apply the scale. As you can see, the scale is different. So just Control A and then Scale. Select everything in press Control A and apply the scale when you do that. As you can see, the scale on every axis will be one. Just Control A, scale, everything is applied. So if I just go to the edit mode again, press U and then unwrap. Now this one is properly unwrapped. As you can see, this C shape, as you can see, we can see another C shape right here. This is just the representation of this one in the bottom. And again, this one is also applied. Go to, go to edit mode, press A, then U, unwrap. When you do that, as you can see, if I go to face selection mode, I can see this one will represent this one, this one will represent this one. So just do this for every for everything inside this press A and then U and then unwrap. So if we have finished that after that before we have baked or be, before we go to cloth simulation, we need to apply a subdivision surface. So apply I mean subdivision, not solidify, subdivision surface. I will make this to two and I'm going to change this one to simple so that it won't it won't change the shape. It will only give it uh, further subdivisions without changing the shape. And then again what I will do is uh, go to the cloth simulation, then I'm going to apply cloth simulation for here. I'm just going to leave the quality step right here and then you can change, make it 10. I'm just going to make this one to point 0.2 and then I'm going to change the pressure to uh, 5. This one is the, the the setting that will inflate our, our our object right here so that it will look like a cushion or that will that's the very thing that will make it look realistic. Then in the gravity I'm going to deactivate gravity so that it won't fall down. Gravity is not needed and then after that everything is looking good right. I can make the quality the, the quality steps to tend to that I will have a better simulation. 
So if I just make the gravity to one and go to the timeline and then hit play, as you can see, my it's simulating, but it's falling to the ground. So if I just make this to zero, go to the first frame, hit play. As you can see, it's simulating, but it's not going really anywhere. But the simulation is it's far worse than <laughs> that we uh, we need than we needed. So go to the first frame again. The problem with that is the subdivision. So if I just apply the subdivision, go to get out of the edit mode and then apply the subdivision. For example, if I get inside the edit mode, and let me hide this two, this ones. I'm just going to hide them. Get inside the edit mode as you can see. The subdivision or the subdivision applied on each face is different as you can see. This face has bigger uh, faces, uh, bigger subdivisions, and this one has smaller subdivision which are uh, longer in the y-axis we need to we need to have equal subdivision of in every face so in order to do that so i'm going to hit control z control z uh, so after that just hit the slash bar in your keyboard to isolate the selected object so the slash bar in the numpad i mean not in your keyboard the numpad then if i get inside the edit mode and then press control r to add edge loops, if you scroll your middle mouse upward, it will increase the edge loops that will be uh, inserted or placed. I'm going to place it right around here. Then again, press Ctrl R. So manually first, I'm going to uh, give this this cube or this this mesh to have uh, to have equal division of surfaces in on every on um, every six faces, as you can see. We have those square looking uh, square looking faces on every face which which are kind of similar that's what we want so if i just for example apply the subdivision if i get inside of the edit mode as you can see the subdivision is applied equally along every face that was what i was looking for so i'm just going to hit ctrl z and get out of the edit mode i think everything is on the cloud simulation is done the way i wanted to to do so I'm going to hit the slash button in my keyboard again in order to uh, unhide everything or in order to undo the isolation. So I'm going to, going to repeat this process again for every object that's in the viewport. So I have subdivided everything. As you can see, I've done this for every mesh in my viewport then after that this one has every properties that i need it has the subdivision in the close so what i will do is select everything right here and select the one which has the properties that i need at last and then press ctrl l in your keyboard and then hit copy modifiers so when i do that that what this will do is it will copy the modifier from this one on every object that's selected with it so so after that, what I will do is I'm just going to select this one and deactivate this one. Select this one again, deactivate, deactivate this one so that this one will be only left. If I hit play in my keyboard, as you can see, I'm having uh, a closed simulation happening in my viewport. But I'm just going to hit pause. When it's above some frame, let, let me reverse it a little bit. As you can see, when it's beyond some frame, for example, four or five, it's it's actually deforming, and I don't want it to to act like that. So I'm just going to increase the subdivision. Let me change this one to three and bake it again. Whenever you change the properties, uh, it will not apply it automatically. You need to bake it again, as you can see, as you have seen, it has automatically destroyed the mesh. So whenever I change the subdivision. It's giving you much more realistic uh, simulation than the previous one. So I think, for example, six will be good, right? I think frame six will be good. Uh, I think frame six uh, is looking good for me. So next, what I will do is right click and then shade smooth so that I will have smoother shades. So I'm just going to do this, the same properties for this one second. Select this one, go to close simulation. What I will do is I'm just going to change a little bit of properties. For example, I'm just going to change the bending to 
just a little bit of property so that I will get some kind of variations. I'm just going to make this one nine, and I'm just going to make the uh, let me make the the pressure to uh, four point five point two something. I don't know how much change this will give me, but I think I'm satisfied with this one. Let me just call it. Mm. I think on frame 7 is looking good. I think I will make it stop it on frame 7. After that, go to the modifier properties and then apply the subdivision surface first and the close simulation later. We have already adjusted the setting for this one, so I'm just going to make this one 3 since this one, the, the, the subdivision of this one is 3. I also make this one to be 3 since all these 3 seats have the same properties. Just go to the first frame and then hit place so that it will simulate but nothing is happening the reason for that is we need to activate this one so that it will be visible in the viewport just go to the first frame again and hit play so that it will simulate so our seats are simulating so just pause it or stop the simulation whenever the shape of the cushion or the shape of the seat becomes very big i think uh if i go to frame i think frame seven uh not not frame seven just click frame seven i think frame seven is good also for this one just right click and then shade smooth so that it will be smoother and after that just hit apply and then hit apply just repeat this this process for this one again So as you can see, I have, uh, have I have simulated the three uh, those, those three seats. The next thing I need to simulate is this one. So what I will do is just everything is all already set up. So just go to the first frame again. I need to activate this this one so that it will be visible in the viewport. Or yeah, you can activate it right here. So if I hit play, on my keyboard. I'm seeing something happening right here but this is not what I want I want this mm, I don't this is not the result that I was I need so if I just go a little bit a few frames backward I need to do something right here so what I will do is I'm just going to select this one and hide it go to the first frame again what I will do is uh, I'm just going to select this one, go to the edit mode again, go to this face, press C to select, to activate circle select. If you scroll your middle mouse downward, it will increase the scale or the size. If you click it, it will select everything along the circle that you've seen. As you can see, this one is selected, so I'm just going to hit Shift D and then P and then selection. So what this will do is it will give me a separate object. So I'm just going to press GY, but deactivate the snap button before, press GY, I mean X. I'm not seeing anything since this one has no thickness, that's why, press GX. Just move it a little bit brighter here, go to the edit mode, press A, select everything, and E, extrude. So that you can see, uh, you can see it from the side, right, we need that. And I'm just going to deactivate the subdivision, and then delete uh, this cloth from this one press shift d 90 i will show you what the purpose of this one in a bit just do what i'm doing press gui shift d and then gy so the purpose of this 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 objects or this meshes right here it's going to block the simulation so that it won't move uh, beyond the there it won't move beyond this one beyond that they will just block it and make it to stay in shape in the I'm just going to just show you just select this one or this one in the collision in the physics tab just make this one collision and change the thickness outer to 0.001 I don't think it will make it smaller than 0.001 so just select this one again do the collision and I think everything is uh, select the back part then collision this one is already make this one 0.001 I think everything is done right so after that, what we'll do is if I hit, but before the select this one, in the close, in the 
collision just change the distance to 0.001 the reason i'm doing this one is it will give us much more realistic uh, collisions between these two objects that's why i'm making the distance in the in the thickness order from the collision as 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 smaller as possible that's why so it's simulating but as you can see if i just uh, stop the simulation as you can see if i just hide this one it's stopping the simulation and also i'm getting some kind of wrinkles right here so just let me move a few steps backward so as you can see we are seeing the effects of this the effects that we are getting and I again hide this one and then if i have this one we're gaining some wrinkles and also we're gaining something white so after that what we need to do is i think we are we have I think I've got what I need, uh, what I was looking for. Then select this one, right click, and then shade it smooth so that it will shade, it will make it smoother. Then I'm just going to go to, uh, I'm just going to go to uh, this modifier properties, apply the subdivision, then apply the cloth. Then next, go right here, and then hit slash in your keyboard. If you go to the edit mode, go to the top view, press C, then select this one hit control minus in your numpad it will uh, cancel out one edge loop one edge uh, face selection then if you go to the vertex right here and then in the vertex go hit plus and then assign so now this 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 the vertex from this selection will be assigned to this one or this faces are assigned to this vertex and then again go to the top view go to the other view hit c hit control minus but before that hit skip to deactivate from this circle select control minus in your numpad then again hit assign so now we have assigned uh, the two faces right here so the purpose of this one is i will show you later so if i hit play in order to simulate it but go to the first before go to the first frame go to the properties modifier properties and activate this one first don't forget this one if I just hit play, it's simulating, but as you can see, you can see the rotation right here. I don't want that to happen. So, the purpose of the vertex that I have created is, if I just go to the physics properties, in the shape, if I just select the vertex that I have created right here, uh, where is it? In the shape, so this one will be pinned and the close simulation will not affect this one. This will be pinned it's in its original location. It will not change the location, but just easily it will be pinned so that it won't go anywhere. So if I just hit slash in my numpad and hit play, so that you can see clearly, as you can see, uh, every part but the, the, the vertex that we have pinned, it's simulating. And as you can see, we are having a simulation in a way that we want it to be hit pause in your keyboard or the spacebar i think this one is looking good right just right click and then shade smooth so that we will have smoother shading and then after that what we need to do is just go to the properties modifier properties and then apply this one again and then apply this one again i think everything is looking good if i press alt h to hide everything and select this one and delete this blocks that we have used earlier i think we are having a really good looking couch right here so after that what we need to do is uh, select this one we have already done that texture in uv wrapping bar go to the uh sculpt mode so that we, we will sculpt this one we'll we will uh, do some close uh close brushes we'll apply some close brushes on them as you can see this one is looking not looking good it's looking a lot flatter so we need to inflate this one we need to adjust some things right here so just before you do anything go to this draw face sets and then go to face sets and then inshallah's face set by uv seams now we have as you can see this face set. the function of this one is you will see it later just go to the tools so if you just go to the close brush right here you can see the simple the symbol so if you go to the advanced and activate this face sets 
So if I just change this one to uh, inflate, this will inflate it. And change the stroke type to airbrush, it's already airbrush. So just let me show you. If I just do this one, as you can see, it will only apply the, the, the close simulation on one face. But if I just go to advanced and deactivate this face, it's and as you can see, the, the, the close simulation is applied on everything that touches. But if I just activate this one, it will only apply on the on the face that's selected first. So that's the function of the face sets, as you can see. So that we will have, we'll apply the close simulation separately. Sometimes we may need that whenever we are dealing. So I'm just going to select this one. Make sure you make the strings to 0 0.01. As you can see, it's 0 0.01. I'm just making like this. Select this one again. I'm just going to inflate it so that it will look more realistic. And then I'm just going to change this one to grab. This I'm just going to move it backward just a little bit. But before that, what I want to do is just shift, shift and do your sculpting. What this will do is it's going to smooth out any sculpting or any de any deformation of a shape. As you can see, if I shift click and do that, it will deform it, but don't overdo it. So again, I'm just going to go right here, change this one to inflate again. I'm just going to do this separately. As you can see, it's looking a little bit. As you can see, this one looks better than the previous one, right? Yep, this one looks better. Then again, just change this one. I'm just going to make change the, the, the radius so that I will affect much more spaces at once. So I think just do this process for everything. I think this one is looking, I'm just going to do this one for this to inflate it. I think it's looking good. The next thing that I will do is just get go to the sculpt mode, uh, the object mode again, select this one and go to the sculpt mode again. And then go to uh, do the same process for this one. Go to this draw face sets and face sets initialized by the UV seams. So after that, actually activate this this one. So just if you just go to the close, make sure that you go to the close brush again and change this one. Let me change this one to uh, drag and decrease the radius. So I'm adding uh, wrinkles as you can see. I can add the wrinkles separately on each face sets. You can see I can add this one right here. So by this method, you can add also on the top view, on the top part, you can add some, some bit, just a little bit of variations, little bit of wrinkles as you can see. I'm just adding that. You can just increase the strings. If you just increase the strings, you can see. You can apply the, 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 the brush more easily, but it, sometimes it will be intense and it will, uh, as you can see, it will, it will deform your object. So just don't, don't make it this one higher. So I think by doing this, you can just create the variations for every faces or for every seats right here. So after you have done this, wrinkles for every part as you can see i've done that so that you can create variations just press gy and just do that so that you will you will fill the gap right here so next press ctrl s to save it we need to model that the leg right so just click this one press the slash in your numpad and then go to the top view again press shift and uh, go to uh, right click snap and then cursor to select it so that to be the cursor will be in the center and then press shift a and then go to cube scale it this will be our leg we're going to model the leg using this so scale it press gy gz since this one will be our floor go to the edit mode go to 
the extreme mode again select by box selecting press gz and move it right here press gy just i think i think this one will be good select this one again press gx and then move it right here i think right around here will be good so after that press ctrl to add an edge of edge loop let's move it right around here select this one press e to extrude somewhere around here select the bottom face the bottom edge press gy gz diamond so that you will create some something like this and then select this one again press gx select make it something like this after that just go to the uh, add a modifier and then add a subdivision modifier we're having some kind of subdivision go to the edit mode again press ctrl r and then add something like this so that the subdivision won't affect it that much and then you can press ctrl r or we can use or we can also use bev just sell, delete this one i think bevel is it's it's much better it will have much more uh, i'm going to make this for it will have less less geometry than the, the previous one select this one everything press select everything but just make sure that you activate the extreme or select everything and then scale it i think uh, i'm not going to do that anything i'm just going to leave it as it is after that just right click and then set origin to geometry and then press rz and then 45 degrees move it right around here if i deactivate this one this will act as my leg right so just go to the top view uh, go to add modifier and then mirror modifier and then make x and y and select the object of mirror to be this one so when you do that you can see we have the leg right here this is the leg of our couch go to the edit mode again so that we have right now we have the shape of our couch press ctrl is to save it so next after we do that what we need to do is we need to create some kind of cushions right here so just what you need to do is just you need to repeat the, the, the things that i have told you earlier just shift right click right here go to an add a mesh and scale it somewhere right around here by pressing s this is the shortcut for scaling press sx to scale it in the x just make it somewhere around here so after that go to the edit mode press ctrl r and do that thing that i have showed you earlier Control R and then do that. After that, what we need to do is just go to Add Modifiers and add Subdivision Surface. Change this to Simple. We're going to keep, make keep this as one. Just go to the Close Simulation and Close, and then change. Make this one to point one. Just make everything that I have showed you earlier. Make this to five. But what we will need, what we will change from the previous one is we are going to keep the gravity so that the cushion will collide with this the bottom part of the seats so select this one we're going to make this one collision and make the thickness of the 2.001 we're going to uh, make every part of the couch to be a collision object so that the car the, uh, the cushions will collide with them make this just so after that what we need to do is just select this one again change in the object and the object collision change the distance to 0.001 the reason why i'm making this one 0.001 or the slowest value possible i don't think you can make it less than this one just we will have a better collision between these two objects so after that press g and then r i'm just i'm just going to rotate it so that press g z z move it in the z press g z let me see what what will happen if i hit play now i'm having my cushion right here as you can see so i'm just i think this one is looking good good so go to the first frame but before that i need to uv unwrap this one so before that press ctrl a and then apply the scale then after that go to the edit mode go to the select anywhere else to reactivate the selections just go to select select sharp edges right click and then mark scene press a and then u uv unwrap the scale is already applied as you can see so the the uvs will be properly unwrapped so after that 
press G and move it right around here. I think right around here would be good. If I hit play. Now I have my cushion, so I think this one will be good. I'll like go to the solid uh, the modifier properties and then apply it. Then apply everything for every cushions. Apply everything. So after that we have our cushion as you can see. So guys, I think we have finished uh, modeling everything. So the next thing we need to do is we need to give this uh, this object the couching the, the cushions the uh, materials the label so we need to give them texture and materials so in order to do that just uh, go to the shader editor right here so just click this one and press new when we do that we will have some basic material so in order to further see uh, the material that we will apply clearly just go to uh, click this one right here the material preview mode as you can see everything is white so by default blender will make everything white as you can see this one does not have any material it's white and when we click this one we have applied a new material but it's this one is also white so we need to uh, download image texture from texture.com i have placed the link in the description below for this materials that we are going to use so uh, I have already downloaded them so I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to drag them so just first we need to drag the color I'm just going to drag this one right here just connect the color to the color the base color so when you do that we will have the material applied right here as you can see but uh, we need the scale to be a little bit smaller so just select this one press ctrl T when you do that this node setup will appear if this if this does not appear in your in your blender what you need to do is just go to edit and then preferences in the add-ons bar type a uh, mode wrangler so make sure that you have activated this one if you don't activate that one it will not work so after we do that again shift a in order to uh just i'm just going to add a value uh, so just connect the value to the scale so i can just simply now uh, manipulate it like this I'm just going to make this one. Let me make it four. I think four is. Let me make it two. I think two is. I think two is good. I think two is fair. So after that, as you can see, this one is like this. Then what I will do is just select this one and just I'm just going to drag and drop this one. Like this. Now these materials are the same. Properties of these three cities. But we need to uh, add another. Uh, another image texture also so just go to the folder that you've downloaded so after you have finished dragging them in the blender just connect the color to the roughness and then press shift a and then search bump we need a bump node and then place it right here and then again type shift a and then in the search bar type normal map and then connect the normal the color path to the color and then map to the normal they connect the displacement of the color to the height and make the distance to 0 0.05 0, 0, 0, and connect the normal to the normal so when we do that we will have some kind of bump in normal applied to it as you can see i think you can see it so i think this is the basic the, the simple setup of the material i'm not making it much complicated i'm just using the simplest material setup as you can see since the purpose of this this tutorial is to let you know how you can use the basic the basic blender uh, native sculpting or close solution in order to come up with this couch that's the point of <coughs> the tutorial sorry just select this one again and drag and drop it to the to the side one but as you can see the scale of this one is different so what we need to do is just select this the material and then hit right here it duplicate it will duplicate it so i'll just adjust the scale for this one differently and if i make it four as you can see i think 4.4.5 4 i think 4.5 is good the the placement of the the texture in every face is different so we can adjust that what you can do is just go to edit mode like this and change this one to a uv editor if i press a as you can see everything is selected and if i just go to this make sure that you are on uv selection mode if i just select this one or i can in order to see which one is i need to rotate this one so that 
it will be downward like this what i need to do is let's go to this one and then i'm just going to select a lot of items right here so i think my uv is supposed to be right here so if i press a and then select this one as you can see if i rotate it, nothing is happening so this this one is not my seam so i think this one is my seam r as you can see this one is my my uv map so press 90 and move it right here and then i can select this one again press r in the 90 and then move it somewhere around here the reason i moved it so that we will have the rotation also for this face so if i just deactivate this short release as you can see the direction is like this i want this to be opposite of for this one i think this one is looking good so what i will do is just again select this one and i'm just going to drag and drop it right here I think it does kill. Um, I am just going to duplicate this one. Go to the shader editor again. I'm just going to make this one six or something. No. I need to select this one. Make it six. Um, six. I think this one should be should be good to go. Maybe six point one or something. Six point one. I think this will be good. I think this one is good. So next press ctrl s to save it the next thing is we need to we need to add materials for our cushions so now as you can see we have uh, finished placing the cameras I mean, so now as you can see we, we have finished applying the materials on our couch so guys this is how you can model a couch uh, easily in, in blender 2.93 i'm using uh, blender 2.93 So guys, after we have applied the material, I think we have finished uh, moving our, our couch. So this is the way that you can use in order to create uh, uh, a couch looking like this in Blender. So I think this was a very helpful tutorial. I hope it has given you uh, the very basic. So guys, after we have applied the material, I think we have uh, finished everything. So guys, you can you can just light this up. You can add some frames and floor lamps and many other things, coffee tables and you know you can give this couch life and you can render it uh, uh, in a way that you want, or you can use it in your interior interior scenes that you will do in the future. I don't know. You can just use it in any way that you can. So if I just do that and uh, do this, as you can see, I have just set up a small, a small lighting scene, as you can see. This is EV. Uh, it's, it's, it's Blender real-time Blender engine EV. If you want uh, to know how to light, to light up and how to populate the scene in Blender EV, you can find, uh, you can find a link uh, right now in the top right corner. You can just ch check out the tutorials that I have placed so that you can achieve this kind of realism in EV. So guys, this is all the tutorial that uh, I have in modeling a couch. I hope this was helpful for you guys. As you can see, the couch is really looking lively whenever you add uh, some materials, some coffee tables, so as I have said earlier, floor lamps and then frames. It will give the couch life as you can see. I think it's, it's I think it's a good model, right? So guys, this is all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and like so that I can keep making videos like this in the future. Uh, thanks. Bye.